Breaking news, a woman falls to her death at Six Flags over Texas. Many witnessed the deadly accident. I just wouldn't figure something like that would happen. It's 10 o'clock in North Texas. Fox 4 News starts now. Good evening, I'm Therese Sensley. The woman who was killed tonight was riding the Texas giant roller coaster, and many people witnessed it. Here's a live look from Sky 4 over the park. As Six Flags closes for the evening, the Texas giant ride is shut down. Calvert Collins is live from the park. Calvert, what have you learned about this fatal accident? Well, Clarice, we don't have any more answers as to how this woman was killed on uh, the Texas Giant roller coaster this evening. But we can tell you in the last uh, 15, 20 minutes or so, we can tell you that a funeral home vehicle has arrived to retrieve uh, her body and uh, likely take it to a funeral home nearby. Um, this happened about 645 this evening. It's unknown where on the ride uh, some somehow she came free of her seat and then fell, unfortunately, to her death below. Now, the ride was immediately shut down, but the park remained open, as did other rides, and the park just closed, as it does any other night at 10 p.m. Now, Six Flags Over Texas medical staff and paramedics plus firefighters immediately responded to the Texas giant, and we can tell you that firefighters used their ladder truck to try to get to her um, to where she had fallen on a platform below the roller coaster. In a statement, Six Flags Over Texas said that safety of our guests and employees is our number one priority. People on the ride had been posting about social, posting about the incident all evening on social media, and Arlington police initially, and then fire investigators who are still on scene, trying to figure out how this woman died. Um, we spoke to a man who was on the next train, and here is what he had to say. We were either on the train in front of or behind where the person had fallen out. I mean, we saw like all the EMTs and firefighters and stuff rushing out. What did they tell you happened? They said that uh, that possibly a restraint might have come up and somebody had fallen out around the turn. I know these guys check everything all the time, so, you know, I, I, I just wouldn't figure something like that would happen. Now, again, there is some question about if that restraint did, in fact, come loose. We are waiting to get confirmation from Arlington Fire investigators who are still here. Now, this is not the first death that to happen on the at, uh, at Six Flags. In March of 1999, 28, a 28-year-old woman died uh, after her, the raft that she and 10 others were on flipped over on the Roaring Rapids ride. And then in March of 2006, 10 people were hurt on the Texas tornado as their swings hit each other, but now this is the second death in uh, Six Flags Over Texas history. Now, there we've been monitoring social media all evening, getting witness accounts from, uh, from a variety of people who say they saw this fall happen, and some people had, had uh, said that this woman had complained about uh, her security bar, that it wasn't tight enough, again, trying to find that out from our investigators, and then a lot of other people who were on that that train following them and ready to board said that immediately as people were coming back to the station that it was just they were crying it was frantic they knew something had gone horribly wrong and uh and there were even reports that this woman's child had uh was asking investigators please please go find my mommy but again we're trying to find out any kind of details confirmed details from the investigators here still on scene clarice and kelvin i was going to ask you we know this was an adult woman do we know who was in that car with her were her children with her? Did she have a husband? Were there, were there friends with her in, in that car? Well, we haven't been able to confirm that. Like I said, really no one here on scene is talking. That statement is the only thing that has been released from Six Flags. I've been emailing with Arlington Fire Depart the Fire Department. Still, again, nothing confirmed. But uh, we've been told that her son was with her. Um, not sure if there were other children on the ride. You know, 24 people can ride this train all at the same time, or 24 people per train. So it uh, still remains to be seen if there were other relatives or friends. And we don't know her identity yet, but hope to learn that in the next uh, couple hours. So the other rides stayed open tonight. Will the Texas Giants stay closed tomorrow when the park reopens? 
likely as investigators remain on scene, they want to collect as much evidence as they can. They're going to go through the camera footage along the train route to see maybe if the train malfunctioned, where did that happen? Where did a, a restraint come up? Um, so the, it's likely the Texas Giants going to remain closed for quite some time, but we're not told at this point that any other rides will be closed. Calva Collins live at Six Flags over Texas in Arlington. Thank you.